Well, gardeners are being warned about an invasive moth species on the rise in this country. The box tree moth is native to Asia, and it's considered an invasive species. For more on this, we're joined live by Joe Salemi. Joe, thanks so much for making time for us. Hey, thanks so much for having me. Uh, let, let's start with what people need to know. What's going on with the box tree moth? Well, it's something that was introduced to us back in 2018, right in Toronto, and now it's pretty well spread across the country and into a few other provinces. What you need to know is that um, the boxwood tree moth is in its caterpillar stage now, and that's at the stage where it's going to feed pretty voraciously on all of the foliage that's on your boxwood plants now. Okay, so for people who are out gardening, and there's probably lots of people watching us who have been getting their gardens ready over the course of this weekend, Joe, uh, what's your advice to them? How do they protect their gardens from these moths? Well, it's the, uh, it's the busiest gardening weekend all year long, and so there's going to be lots of gardeners out. If you have boxwoods uh, in your garden, you're going to want to check um, and see if you've got some caterpillars on them now. They're going to be anywhere between a half inch to about three quarters of an inch long. They're green with a black head. You're going to know because they're going to be feeding on those leaves of your boxwood pretty well. Um, if they haven't got too far, um, there's a way to uh, to control them. But if your boxwoods are looking pretty brown at the moment, uh, my, the bad news is they're probably gone. So if someone's watching us, they're going to go out right now and check their their trees for this. If they <laughs> see one of these caterpillars, what do you do, Joe? So um, if you've got one or two in, in all of the boxwoods, um, take them off um, and, uh, and I'd say dispose of them. Uh, put them in a plastic bag and put them in the garbage. Um, if you've got a lot and, I, you know, a lot is like 10 inside of a handful, um, you can hit your uh, go head over to your local independent garden center. And there's a product called BTK and it's a naturally occurring bacteria that you can spray on your boxwood, and that's going to uh, effectively get rid of those caterpillars. How, I guess, unusual is this, Joe, or is it unusual? Is this something we tend to see every year this time of year? We're starting to see it more and more because of the, uh, the, um, the concentration of the infestation of box tree moth. You know, when I said it was introduced back in 2018, and it's slowly been getting more and more concentrated in Toronto and surrounding areas. Uh, unfortunately, with the uh, the milder winters, we're seeing uh, heavier uh, populations of box tree moth this season. It's uh, it's coming at us strong. And when you talk about, I guess, the, the climate and the uh, milder winters that we're seeing, are there certain areas, Joe, where, where they're more, we're more prone to get these box tree moths? For example, if you live closer to the lake, are you expected to see more of them? We're not necessarily seeing any, uh, any regionalization like that. Um, they, uh, they can travel um, and they're going to go and they're, they're going to spread. And we've seen that over time. Um, what I'd really suggest is you just go out on boxwood moth uh, patrol and check out your boxwood. If, uh, if you still have the majority of the foliage on your boxwood, you should be pretty safe. Uh, just go get some of that BTK and uh, give it a spray. All right, Joe Salemi, the Executive Director of Landscape Ontario. Thank you so much for your time and happy gardening. Happy gardening. Have a great day.